Here we go. This is a web page that I'm trying to make uniform within the rest of my site. It had been this content had been straight jacketed at WordPress. Oh, look at that. This is exactly if I can move it over here. Can I use my keys to go? No, it won't let me scroll up and down. But it, oh, I can do this. Right. If I go up here into the center of the screen and then use this scrolly we can scroll down and you can see what you get if you remove some stuff you've done oh look why is that huge this is what i've got to repair from oh it stopped from some stuff that i lost at wordpress Right, what I want to do is make this page look a little bit less disgusting than it does at the moment. So I've got too many pages open here. Just too many pages. Let's close them down. This is fun. If I knew how to use Cam Studio more, better, and there was a nice key for pausing, I could have paused this. It's fantastic screen capture software, but you can't, um, you can't edit what you've done without losing the screen resolution. Certainly you can't when you're capturing in a funny widescreen size like this. Close that. Ah, is this my, this is my index page. And I want to introduce some of this kind of uniformity to all the rest of my pages. So up here, this is where we were. I need to put a table in. Insert table. This is the size I'm choosing. If you're a proper web designer, there's absolutely no way you would do this. You should be using CSS. Nobody does structure using tables anymore. Uh, this is the table I've chosen. Over here I'm going to select this cell. I'm going to say that I want everything to align in the middle and at the top. And why have we lost the edges? I don't know. Click on the edge. I want to make the background navy blue. So background colour is here. If we use the selector, I don't know which of these blues. No, none of those blues are the blue that I want. So I'm going to put hash and then check over here. It's four zeros and an 80 is the colour code for navy blue. There, it's coloured that properly for me. And then I'm going to select this cell and say I'd like that background to be white. That's easily selected with the colour picker. And here, I'm going to want to select that and ask it to split itself. Table. No, we don't want to add another table. Don't do that. That would be wrong. Cancelled that. Right click this. Anything? Table? Table? Yes. That was a right click. And we're going to split the cell into two columns. Okay. Ooh. Oh no, that wasn't what I wanted. Yes, it was. Look, um, forget that. My uh, this Camtasia screen capture thing is a box and it, like, it was another line across that. Right, so I'm selecting this. I want this one to contain my navigation column. So it only needs to be 100 pixels wide. I want everything to be at the left and the top. Um, press there and it would update if we ask it also to have a white background. Thank you. Over here, I want this one to be 600 pixels wide. Like that. Okay. It's made a bit of a structure. If I go back to my index page, I'm going to copy and paste all that content, edit, copy, 
uh, back to the page we were sorting out in there edit paste I think it's worked hooray okay that's what we needed from the other page better save that yep down we go and I've got lots and lots and lots of material we'll get there eventually in here that I need to get hold of so down we go this is just oh, messy I'm scrolling down the entire lot there we are get to the end edit copy whiz back up here I want it to go in here now so click on the code part edit paste it updated pleasantly press that Still got it in the original and now in this new part too. Hopefully okay. Mm, but this is just, just messy. Mm. 